Hello again, so we have reached exercise related to star pattern. So before solving this exercise, if you can go uh, to my website uh, under the tab C exercises, so you will see uh, under the course algorithmic and programming uh, a link which calls star patterns. There is uh, more than uh, 20 exercise related to a star pattern and of different uh, difficulty. So you can try also to solve some of these for and uh, for stars which are really uh, difficult exercises so what uh, today we will settle with uh, this type of stars so i have here uh, a bigger example so the user would enter a number and then you should display this uh, pyramid so as you see the number of rows and this pyramid is equal to eight so those are eight times so we have to repeat a treatment eight times so this is a first loop so usually since you are uh, printing on a screen and the screen usually will work from uh, left to right and uh, line by line so first we uh, the, the outer loop so this is the outer loop would be the numbers of rows so this is very obvious so we need to uh, a loop which uh, counts the number of rows because we need to do eight star eight times something so <coughs> sorry if you look at one row so what we will do in a row we have to print spaces and we need to print stars so and the number of spaces the first uh, the numbers of star the first from row to row so let's see uh, the relation between uh, number of spaces and number of stars so you can either pick any of these row uh, rows so uh, for me the most easiest uh, for example is to choose the second row so the second row if you look there is a three uh, stars in the first row we have one star so we have one three five seven and we have here uh, nine eleven thirteen and fifteen so this is the count for uh, the uh, uh, stars so how, how can you link so if we if we uh, for example uh, let the counter of the outer loop be i so how can you link the number of uh, stars with the i so i and let's say that the number of of uh, stars is j so in each loop so j should depend on i so the inner loop so here also we have inner loop because we are printing 15 stars we will not write 15 print f we will do also a loop so we will loop on the number of stars so the stars look look uh, carefully so the number of rows is equal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we need to find a relation between i and j so if i equal to 8 j would be equal to 2 multiple i minus 1 let's check if it's if it's, it works on the other cases so for i equal to 2 do i get a 3 2 multiple 2 4 minus 1 equal to 3 so it's correct let's say 4 4 multiple 2 it's 8 8 minus 1 9 so it seems it's correct for now this is the uh, the loop so it will loops to i minus 1 to print the star so what it remains is the number of spaces so let's see the number of spaces <clears throat> so if you look well it's in reverse order because at the last row there is no spaces the last before row so with row number seven there's just one space before the star so i will erase all these and i will try to uh, uh, now focus if it's possible no it's not possible sometimes let me So I'm, I'm, I'm playing with all that, I don't know, so let's try to delete all these, okay, so now it works. So let's see about the uh, number of spaces, so uh, uh, again in terms of the number of uh, rows, so I'll make it bigger. So we have now the rows here, so it's row number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, <coughs> it's very big, and 8, so 
how can we calculate the number of spaces let's say k is the number of spaces so uh, k for i equal to 8 it's equal to 0 for k for k equal to 7 it's equal to 1 for k equal to 6 is equal to 2 so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it's easy so the number of spaces is equal to n minus i so n is equal to 8 minus i which is the counter here it's equal to 7 so let's uh, go and uh, write the code so the user should enter a number n so n obviously should be greater than 0 so i will force the user to enter a positive number so let's start we have int n so and we need uh, as we have seen uh, three counters so let's uh, uh, settle for that for now so print f enter n and we scan f n so scan f percentage d address of n and we will repeat that as long as the user enter a number less or equal than a zero so uh, so of course we will not enter a big number because so in the uh, output it will be uh, unreadable so let's say that okay it's okay and if the user enters let's say a number greater than uh, than 20 I would ask him to reduce it so if it's and greater than 20 I would ask him to re-enter a smaller so since we will not see the output on the screen so it will be too big so what we will do is that we need a counter so we have a counter for the number of uh, of uh, rows one uh, for the stars and one for the uh, spaces so we know that we have for uh, uh, n rows so we will loop from one i less than equal to n i plus plus this is for the rows this is for the number of rows and we have we will write here the code for each row so in each row we have a number of of, of empty uh, of spaces and we have later we have a number of stars so we have seen that the number of spaces is equal to n minus i so i need to loop n minus i times so for k equal one k less than or equal to n minus i and k plus plus so this is k times and i will print f what just a space look how still is it so and then I have a for loop on the number of stars so we have seen that the number of star is equal to, to in, on each row is 2i minus 1 so I need another counter so here I can use k because I have finished from k so I will remove j and I will use the same k however now k is, it, it starts from 1 and it loops to 2 multiple i minus 1 and k plus plus and I will print a star so I'll print a number of stars and at the end of these of this row I need to print so I will remove all the commands I need to go to the line in order to move to the other line so this is for the code let's run it and see so we'll enter 8 and see the output so okay it works so let's uh, 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 run it for example for uh, 12 so okay it will work so on our screen here we can move to to so let's remove this and try for example uh, uh, 35 since we have a space here okay it's a very nice big pyramid so we can go further let's say 50 I'm just playing here so uh, the, the so let's repeat so we have the outer loop this outer loop will loops n times it's the number of rows so it's important when doing such uh, in such question like displaying stuff and we have multiple lines the outer loop is always the number of lines so we are looping on the number of lines and for each line so here we have for each line we have a number of spaces and a number of uh, stars so in each question you need to, to do, you need to do that so you need to calculate and you, you need to do uh, such uh, stuff so uh, this was for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop me a message and i will answer you back and again thanks for watching